Bowser in the rear. You reek, my man. I'll never hear. The one in the box looks cracked. Somebody's having a good day, huh? Oh, boy, am I ever. Come on. Take a sniff. Wait. A sniff of what? Exactly. The stench is gone, isn't it? Uh... So how do I smell? More lily or lilac, would you say? Uh, I don't know, lilac? Lilac. That's my Madeline's favorite scent. Madeline? I don't know, uh, lilies, I guess? Lilies are my favorite scent. Finally, I can approach the most wonderful lady in the world without shame. And it's all thanks to the guy that opened the tap for... Wait a sec. Holy fuck, it's you! You're Aiden! Maybe. If that's so, may I ask some of you? There's this certain item I'd like to give my Madeline. Okay, what? A red dress from the old clothes shop at the beginning of Station Road in Quarry End. I know how it sounds, but Madeline, she wore a dress like that once. It'll bring back our old memories from before. You know, from before everything. I'll be a geezer before I manage to get in there. You understand? Meanwhile, some fancy man's been hanging around Madeline. Right, so you don't have much time. Exactly. Look, see that picture behind me? It'll show you what you're looking for. Found it. Hot shit. Listen, Aiden, there's one more thing. I saw your face when you told me how I smell. Y you were lying, weren't you? What? <laughs> Listen, I. Relax. It is what it is, I know. Rubbed myself with flowers, but it didn't help. I really don't want to mess up this date with Madeline. I need perfume, Aiden. If you could go to the old pharmacy on Market Street, I'll be in your debt till the end of the world. If you do it, I've got something to give you. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see what I can do. Okay, got the perfume. The horse? Uh, Aiden. Um, so the thing is, uh, so the situation's, um, has changed. Changed? Listen, Horace, if you ask me to fetch one more thing, I don't... Uh, no, no, uh, this isn't a chat on the radio. Come here as quick as you can. Sorry, I need to have a word with my friend. Just don't keep me waiting. That's not Madeline, is it? I, I know what you're thinking, but it's not like that, Aiden. She's the one who came on to me. That bath, man. I think it gave me... It's the confidence, man. Women sense it. 
And what about Madeline? I love her, you know, but... I mean, did you check out Ada? Never even come close to a beauty like that before. And she's great to talk to, uh, and we both like climbing, and she laughs at my jokes. I mean, not many do, mind you. She came up to me and just sort of latched on. Fuck. Fuck, who do I choose? I don't exactly have a lot of miles under my belt, but as they say, strike while the iron is hot. True love, like you have for Ada, you might not find that again. Yeah, I think you're on to something. Gosh, I feel like I'm 20 again. I think I've fallen for that, Ada. Sometimes if I stay out too long, I get the feeling... Ah, oh, it's you. Hey, Horace. Something wrong? Everything. That Ada was a real tart. After two dates, she went and found herself a new toy. And now all the fellas take baths. Maybe that's why. I'm sorry, Horace. What about, um, Madeline? Her friend saw me with Ada. M Madeline don't want anything to do with me. Shit. So, my advice wasn't all that good. You're young. How could you have known? Seems I was born to die lonely. <laughs> I hope you have better luck. Sometimes a bitter truth is better than a sweet-smelling lie. I mean, you barely met that Ada, right? But the way you looked at that picture of Madeline, and how you were still thinking of her after all this time, <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. You're young, but I gather you've seen your share, being a pilgrim and all. Horace, you ain't no poet. Believe me, I know it. <laughs> <sighs> Alamut all over again. Hey there, lovebirds. Kick me sideways and call me a viral if it isn't Aiden. Darling, uh, this here is the hero of that whole war business. And of our personal business. Aiden, we have you to thank. Yeah, no problem. But hey, Madeline, I was expecting you'd be wearing a red dress when I saw you. <laughs> no. After all these years, it barely qualifies as a rag mop. Look, the dress did not withstand the test of time, but our feelings, they did. Oh, not this again. Is he always like that? You make a cute couple. I'm glad I ran into you. But unfortunately, I have to go. Aiden, you know, it's, um, it's good. Simple as that. Good. Well, you look good, too. Hey, you know... Aiden, I'll tell you something, because sometimes a bitter truth is better than a bitter lie. Yeah? You could use a bath yourself. I knew this old couple, Carl 